Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the Silver Fox here. Hey, I got a new uh, report here. Um, the infamous Credit Suisse in Switzerland, it looks like after years of struggle with uh, cash flow issues and debt, it looks like they've finally been bought out by UBS um, for a total of $54 billion. Or, sorry, um, after... Uh, Credit Suisse received $54 billion from uh, the Swiss National Bank, Swiss, can't even speak, <laughs> Swiss National Bank to um, to increase their liquidity. And I guess UBS is paying $3.2 billion uh, for, the, for the takeover. And I guess they're expected to uh, lose $5.4 billion dollars. Um, as soon as they buy it for uh, derivatives and other assets they have. And so, as we can see, the U.S. market is very closely tied to uh, the European market. And I don't think it's any surprise that SVB that I reported on um, a week or two ago, um, that we're now seeing some cracks in the European banks as well. So something, something to look into. Um, Credit Suisse is a really old company. What does it say? It's a 167-year-old banking company. If they had liquidity and debt issues and had to be bought out, then there's definitely something uh, happening in the banking sector. Um, and the amount of money that the Swiss National Bank put towards them, $54 billion, that's a lot of money. Um, and I'm sure the people are wondering in that country their, what the inflation is going to be in regard to them just whatever creating it or if they had it. I'm assuming they just created it. Uh, what the implications will that be and Where's all this money going and who's it going to get? So does it just go down the wormhole? Who knows? Um, but that's the news for right now in the European banks. And uh, if I hear anything else, I'll uh, come up here and give a holler. All right, guys. Take care. See ya.